No. What? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Damn. That trick usually works. You know that reverse psychology thing? But you're too smart, Steve. You're too smart. Donald Trump is not describing consensual acts when he speaks on that Access Hollywood tape, even if the women let him do it. So you're saying someone letting you do something isn't consent. So if your mate lets you borrow his car, Grand Theft Auto. Your dad lets you into his house after you knock on the door, trespassing. And if your wife lets you keep your Buffy and Angel DVDs on the shelf, misogyny. That last one was a Steve-related jab, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't try too hard to work out the logic. He is describing sexual assault. Yeah, but he's not. Because if he was describing sexual assault, then he would have described sexual assault, not some woman letting him grab her by the pussy. There was an article published last month on Vox titled Consent Explained for Donald Trump, written by Emily Crockett and Liz Shelton's. So? The money quote is a bit further down, which reads, When Trump says women let him do anything, he's not describing consensual activity. Okay, so somebody else is wrong. This isn't very convincing, Steve. He's describing, at best, touching a woman without encountering physical resistance from her. No, that's not true. If she let him do it, then he hasn't encountered physical resistance from her, verbal resistance from her, or any other kind of resistance from her. Otherwise, she wouldn't have been letting him do it. Or using his power and influence to subtly coerce her into not resisting. Coercion is not consent either, from a legal perspective or a moral one. Well, then where do you stop, Steve? I bet he used his power and influence to coerce his wife into marrying him. Are we going to call that sexual assault too? And speaking of legal perspectives, let's go back to the basic elements of a crime. Mens rea and actus rea. The guilty mind and the guilty act. Now, I'm no lawyer, but it seems to me that it could be argued that the mens rea is there. His intention was to grab pussy without consent, which can be sexual assault. But we don't have the actus rea. There is no guilty act. Because the woman was okay with the pussy grabbing. Now, because there was no guilty act, there was no crime. Sexual assault did not occur. To insist that Donald Trump is guilty of sexual assault in this instance is to insist that Donald Trump is guilty of thought crime. Maybe our lawyer mate Nick McLean can weigh in on this. I'll ask him. There are a lot of reasons victims might not physically resist or even verbally object to unwanted sexual touching. For fuck's sake, Steve, then you've seriously got to ask the question. Are they a victim? Pretty soon we're going to be prosecuting blokes for the heinous crime of not being able to read minds. They might simply have no time to react. Time that Trump said he doesn't give them. Quote, just kiss, I don't even wait. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What, do you reckon he started kissing her and she thought, Oh, he got me. He's a nimble bastard, that Trumpy. There's no way I'm going to be able to call this sexual assault. They might be confused or in shock. They might be afraid of physical violence, emotional abuse, or other repercussions like being fired if they don't comply. You know, for the world's greatest white knight, you really don't think much of women. That's why brute force doesn't determine whether an attack counts as sexual assault. That's right. Some faggoty bearded cunt on the internet determines whether it counts as sexual assault. Unwanted and non-consensual touching does. Well, that's great, Steve, because apparently the touching that Donald Trump did to this chick was wanted and consensual. Because we have a system for dealing with unwanted and unconsensual touching. It's called the fucking law. And the chick he was talking about didn't report any crimes, did she? Now, is she allowed to decide when she is and isn't being sexually assaulted, Steve? Or should she just shut the fuck up and let a manly man like you decide for her? And truthfully, I think- Yeah, you think, you think. Quick, Steve, think something. We better base reality on it. Many of those who offer this excuse for Trump are simply feigning ignorance. Because if you apply this same logic to other forms of assault, it falls apart instantly. I guarantee you, this is going to be the shittest analogy. If I were to walk up to you and instead of just starting to kiss you or grope you, as Trump says he does to women all the time in that Access Hollywood tape, I were to start punching and kicking you, I could not then claim after the fact that it was consensual because you let me do it. Well, in reality, Steve, I'd beat the fucking shit out of you. But for the sake of your dumb analogy, they're just not the same. You're not comparing apples with apples. Because kissing and pussy grabbing is an ordinary thing that happens every day without being a crime. Kicking and punching the fuck out of someone isn't. 
This analogy would have to be too far-fetched to work. It'd be something like if we were both boxers and we were down at the gym training and we both happened to be in the ring with gloves on and I started punching you. Actually, fuck it, this isn't going to work. Your analogy's shit, Steve. And I know some of you might say, well, if you were punching and kicking me, then I would fight back or I would defend myself or I would run away. I would beat the fucking shit out of you, Steve. Trust me. And all of those would be completely reasonable things to do. But suppose we were in a situation where you couldn't run away. Maybe I had you cornered. Or maybe you were intimidated by me for some reason. Maybe you found me physically imposing. I know that's hard to imagine, but just use your imagination. I would beat the fucking shit out of you. Maybe I was a person of relative power and influence over you, and you feared what would happen to you if you fought me, if you raised too much of a fuss, so you just let me do it. Okay, now you're just talking crazy talk, Steve. I've proven my point sufficiently, I think. I'm gonna fuck off. Laters. <laughs> You know, watching my channel grow as quickly as it has, has been fucking incredible. It's nice to know that there's so many people out there who enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Like anyone else, I've got cubs to feed and bills to pay, so I really appreciate all the support that I get. It allows me to create and publish better videos at a faster rate. If you'd like to throw something in the hat as well, you can either support my videos on a continuing basis through Patreon, or by making a one-time donation via PayPal. You'll find links in the description. If you can't or don't want to, that's okay too. You can help my channel grow by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching.